The Eric Patient Empowerment Program um, uh, started a few years back uh, when we realized that uh, there was no uh, formal information that was friendly to patients, CLL patients. And there was no information that was modified and particularly um, targeted uh, for CLM patients. So uh, we decided to, to start this project. Um, it was supported by a lot of uh, companies. Uh, however, uh, the, the scientific uh, uh, coordination was done by Eric. Um, and uh, particularly uh, by Professor Costas Tomatopoulos and uh, Professor Paolo Ghia uh, and, uh, and myself. So we started by um, interviewing uh, patients and physicians. Um, and we did a lot of focus groups with patients. So we uh, gathered essentially what the needs of the patients are. Uh, so slowly we started to build um, a database of leaflets, podcasts, um, and videos uh, that were on different topics, both medical and psychosocial. Um, you can um, have a look at the um, um, actual site, it's cllempowerment.com. Uh, one of our latest um, uh, projects uh, is the post-traumatic uh, growth project. Uh, in, it started um, when we realized that uh, in a lot of interviews, uh, patients were talking about what they learned from the experience of cancer. Uh, which was not just um, negative, uh, which was not just negative. Uh, there were also some positive uh, aspects um, about their experience, what they learned, um, what they felt um, as people, and how they reached for um, aspects of uh, themselves um, like spirituality um, they looked for um, something to believe in they looked for um, connections connections with others connections with god um, and um, they talked about this very private experience that was very positive so we decided to do a project on post-traumatic growth and we started with a video which uh, you can have a look at and um, now it's a whole um, it's a whole project we are doing a psychosocial intervention but uh, more about that on another on another um, interview